Hello and welcome to Positive Scale, a podcast about mission-driven entrepreneurs, how they got to where they are, and the tactics they use to grow their business and social impact. I'm your host, Keith Saunders, and today we're talking to Hamilton Perkins, the founder and CEO of the Hamilton Perkins Collection, a company that makes affordable designer bags out of recycled bottles, billboard vinyl, and other sustainable material. You were producing the leather bags, and can you take us from the leather bags to now where you are with the recycled uh, bottles to bags? And, and I think one thing about the leather bags that we made that was you know really cool besides like making them in a really small workshop in New York, um, you know, of all like basically second hand, <coughs> excuse me, second hand leather hides that were coming, uh, whether it was through auctions or, you know, just kind of finding old scraps. I think it was just, you know, the individual, you know, boldness of every piece that we made and the uniqueness of each piece. Mm-hmm. I think that really laid the groundwork for what we do today because what we do now, we use um, all recycled materials and everything is still one of a kind because they're always unique. You know, if you take a bag that's, you know, made with like pineapple leaf fiber and, you know, billboard vinyl, you know, this piece will essentially never be uh, created again. There's going to be another one, but it's not going to be exactly the same. Um, So, you know, I went to business school, um, ended up, you know, doing some traveling, wanted to find a cool bag that I could carry while I was traveling. Um, I didn't really have it in my assortment of that small capsule at that point. So I was thinking, wow, this would be a cool time at least to maybe learn, you know, a thing or two, even if I could find something that would be like a, like I thought that at the time, you know, products would be very purposeful and they would have like um, a lot of kind of story behind them or at least have a reason. And I really didn't see it. I looked online, I looked in department stores, I looked in specialty stores. It was like nothing that really there was nothing that was going to be what I had a vision for. So it was either too, you know, it was very affordable and, uh, you know, maybe not as well made. And then there was like the highest end was like, you know, you could have probably put a down payment on a rental property, you know, <laughs> if you were really going to make that investment. Right. And these are investments, you know, when you think mm-hmm. about some of the products that are being, you know, created. So there wasn't really something in the middle. And that's where I feel like we kind of, you know, that was a void that we could fill that void. Mm -hmm. Um, I researched, I found organizations that already had sourcing um, strengths, you know, and could, you know, kind of easily supply the, you know, raw materials to us. Um, And then through a little bit of creativity and um, collaboration, you know, figured out that we could actually do some of the sourcing on our own, Mm -hmm. you know, and we could kind of share some of that um, impact. And, you know, from there, um, you know, we started making what we can, you know, what we call earth bags.